In this problem, we have to find all trig function values of theta, given that the tangent of theta is equal to negative 15 over 8, and theta is in quadrant 2. So there's a couple ways uh, of doing this. Let's do it this way. Let's first start about thinking about the quadrant. So quadrant 2 is here. So in this quadrant, we have that x is negative, and we have that y is positive. And so now recall that the tangent of theta is equal to y over x. So in this problem, we're told that the tangent of theta is negative 15 over 8. So we could, in theory, rewrite that as follows, 15 over negative 8. So we could make a wild guess and say that y is equal to 15 and x is equal to negative 8. Notice it's simplified, right? That's really key. It's reduced. I mean, you could do stuff like this. 30 over negative 16 equals 15 over negative 8. And then you can ask the question, okay, well, which one is x? Is it negative 16 or is it negative 8? So it's really important that your expression is reduced when you do stuff like this. And it is, right? There's no way to simplify this uh, anymore. So now that we have x and y, we can find r. So recall that r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So this is equal to the square root of 15 squared plus negative 8 squared. So this is equal to, so uh, 15 squared is going to be 225. And 8 squared is 64. And so when you add these, you will get 289. So we have 289. 289. And the square root of 289 is going to be 17. So we have r equals 17. All right, so now that we have r and we have x and x and y, we can write down all of the other answers. So one of the answers is tangent of theta equals negative 15 over 8. And then another simple answer that we can get is the cotangent. We can get that one just by flipping this answer because uh, cotangent is the, is the reciprocal. So it's negative 8 over 15. Let's go ahead and come up with sine now. The sine of theta. Well, sine is y over r. So in this case, our y is 15, and our r is 17. So that would be 15 over 17. The reciprocal of sine is cosecant. So cosecant of theta. So we just flip it, and that will give us 17 over 15. And now we can find cosine of theta. That's x over r. So x here is negative 8, and r is 17. And the very last one would be the reciprocal of cosine, which is secant of theta. That'll just be negative 17 over 8. And those would be the six trig function values of theta.